And time now for Trash, and it's brought to you every day by our friends at Mortgage Right. Mortgage Right all over America, and they can hook you up with the best mortgage in town, LT. Hey, if you're looking to purchase or refinance a home, act now before those rates go on the rise. With locations nationwide lending directly to home buyers, our friends at Mortgage Right remove the speed bumps on the road to home ownership by cutting out the middleman, ensuring a fast, worry free process. Visit mortgageright.com to get started. That's the right way to do a mortgage in MLS 2239. Interesting, this came up just a little bit ago. But it's gone far beyond celebrities. On TikTok, hundreds of videos have been posted at hashtag inseam and hashtag five inseam. Most of the videos are posted by women claiming that they would never date the perfect man if he wore shorts longer than five and a half inches. Longer than? Yeah. Whoops. So but I'd see Jalen, Ro- uh, Jalen Rose and uh, Chris Weber in trouble, right? Yeah. What about the that. Razorbacks back in the day? Yeah. Alex Dillard? Yeah. But see, I'd seen a story which is the only reason I knew this was a storyline for this year, was that the shor- the inseams of shorts had gone from 10, 8, and 7 down to 6 and 5. No way. Can't do it. Can't do it. I'm very uncomfortable that way. Me yeah. too. I, I, I guess I grew up in the 90s. I like the baggy shorts. Yeah, I do too. Now, like golf shorts, I buy 9-inch inseam. That's the perfect golf short. I'll wear an 8-inch inseam. But that's as low as I'll go. Now, others take a more direct approach. One girlfriend quietly hems all of her boyfriend's shorts to make them shorter. Yeah, I can't he, quietly hem my shorts. <laughs> Fashion Man, journalists I got tall again. have clamored over one another to coin the name for this trend. Vox declared it the Thigh Guy Summer. Their, yep. their calm, measured writer arguing that ancient Greeks sailed to fight for women. Americans would let Milo's thighs pulverize their skulls. Now, Wall Street, they suggested this will be the one-inch inseam summer. <laughs> funny, oh funny, Bo Nix didn't know he was signing up to sponsor Milo's thighs, too. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> and the New York Times have claimed legs are the new abs. Hmm. You know, I'm just not comfortable. I, and I've decided I don't really care. You know, this is an old thing to say. I don't really care about fashion. I'm just going to be comfortable. I mean, like, I don't intentionally wear stuff that's not fashionable. Though this, you guys might argue with the shirt I got on. So my shot confetti on you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but comfort is uh, paramount to me. That's the most important thing. I want to be comfortable. Yeah, I think you've got to find a nice yeah. balance. Yeah, the, the balance and the balance with a short end seam just isn't it. I mean, you watch the NBA in the 80s. John Stockton just he could have yeah, been comfortable. He, he, no, he would have been much more comfortable had he had on Chris Weber shorts. Okay, before you do your next story, and it, I think we were interviewing New Heisel at the time. As we record this, a guy was a mall walker, walker walking by, and he had the full sideburns down to the yeah. chin. Did you see him walking yeah. by? I, I, I see him tomorrow as well. I think those are painted on. Yeah, you think they're painted on? Yeah, Rockstar has seen him up close, as have I. In the two days we've been here, I believe those are painted on. Like I did not believe Elvis Presley was still possibly alive until I saw him walking by. He lost yeah. a lot of weight. He did. <laughs> got really old. Okay, good story Rocky pulled here. People ruin movies by adding just one word to the title. <laughs> Iron Deficient Man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get cut. How about this one? Pillow Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know why you're going to hate this next one. Oh, no. Love Actually Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Batman begins scrapbooking. <laughs> <laughs> this is me and Robin in San Francisco. <laughs> of course it is. This is how to ruin movies by adding one word to the this title. Is me, Catwoman, and we're Robin in San whoa, Francisco. Whoa. Purple Rain Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, purple. We're gonna have to see you bathe. Yeah, let us see you bathe in the pur- purple rain. Purple and rain. finally, Saving Private Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Okay, here are signs you're old according to millennials, and according to this, I am old. Yeah, are, uh, you hit all of these? Not all of them, yeah. but uh, quite a few. Uh, wearing skinny jeans. I, you know, it's not that I'm opposed to the fashion of the skinny jeans. It's just that I cannot wear them. Yep. And it's really, and it's not because of my waist. I'm a 36 in the waist, which is, I, I'm at 6'1", so that's a pretty normal waist size for a 6'1 guy, right? 36. Yeah. But my thighs will not fit in skinny jeans. I bit my tongue there because oh, no. I even I even sense my I knew I knew his answer before he said it. Who? Because I've been around Brown long enough. I know why he doesn't about, wear about skinny jeans. Yeah, I've heard it. It's my thighs and my calves. Yeah, I cannot wear skinny. If it's but says, it's the summer of thighs. We just covered yeah. this. This is your time. Unleash them, man. Let yeah. them go. It's, it's my thighs and my calves. Reward I've, the ladies. I've got, I've got you know I'm 
Uh, they're not huge legs. I mean, these legs aren't. You wouldn't call my legs these legs. <laughs> these legs, but my calves, like anything that's skinny, they just cling to my calves, and I cannot stand that feeling. I'm, I mean, I feel you, like I'm constantly pulling them down. Do you get approached to be leg models ever? No, no wait. I didn't say they look good, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> what I said was, I, I have I can't not wear insulted su- you one time. Oh. Hey, do you get approached to be a model? Yeah, that's, that's a question. A, that's a, yeah. a leg model, not a model. No, from, the no. waist, from the waist up, you suck. From the, <laughs> from the waist down, down the waist, a thumbs up. <laughs> but from the thigh no, down. No, from the neck up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> so, he needs a damn patch on that right eye. <laughs> Let's get, he equalized him at least. <laughs> okay, here's another sign you're old according to millennials. What, Talking what on those, the phone. What was that magnet thing that you used to bring? <laughs> oh, yeah, the grocery store. <laughs> yes, yeah, the, you pull the uh, was an fire sketch, right? Yeah, that's what I would yeah. do. Uh, talking on the phone. Another sign you're old, according to millennials. I still talk on the phone. I like talking better than texting. No, I do not. I'm I not a big fan phone. talking on the phone. Hate it, hate it, hate it. I, like I, uh, I save all my calls till I'm in the car, so I can use Bluetooth. I like texting, and I like yep. texting in the car with the Bluetooth. I know you're not supposed to text and drive, but with the Bluetooth, I just hit, you know, but read my text, it reads it, and then I reply. I was pointing this out to my 16-year-old. Um, this is a sign of old people. We were in a restaurant. We were on... We were at the beach last week. We were in a restaurant, and there was this table of, they were older ladies. They were not elderly, but older ladies sitting. And about five times a phone ring. And I'm like, just put it on silent. I've yeah, I know that. people like that. They're oh, both, I know. Yeah, they don't like to uh, mute that phone. They don't like to put it on silent. Even in meetings. Yeah, yeah I know somebody you're talking about. <laughs> Um, and you know what else they did, Rockstar? They don't know that you could send it straight to voicemail, yeah. so it just they, rings. Or they, no, but the best is when you get up and leave the meeting once you take the or call. Or you answer it and hang it up. Yeah. You oh. swipe to answer it and then just end the call. Funniest, one of the funniest moments at our previous workplace is the radio legend John Ed Willoughby. And we were there was some sort of sexual harassment lawsuit in our company. And so everybody had to watch the sexual harassment video. So the entire staff is in the room. And they send somebody down from <laughs> send somebody down from corporate to do this presentation. We all got to watch this video. And about two minutes in, John Ed's phone, <laughs> John Ed's phone rings, and he's got a flip phone in his front shirt pocket. And everybody starts laughing because his phone rings. And everybody quit laughing. And he goes, "Hello." <laughs> he just took the phone call right. <laughs> no, I'm not busy. <laughs> uh, John Ed did not give a shit. <laughs> he did not. Okay, here's another sign you're old according to millennials. This is well documented being on Facebook. I've never been there. Um, yeah, I'm not as active as I once was. I got a Facebook. Our man C Stu wears it out. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm becoming more and more active on there. Thanks to our friends at Next Round Live. That's right. It's a good place to promote <laughs> our show. Good, those are good friends. <laughs> they yeah. are, yes. Uh, another one watching actual TV. Outside of sports, I don't watch actual TV. I really don't either. I watch live sports. Um, I watch. This is us. Yeah, well, my wife. Yep. And then I. But you don't watch it live. You watch it on DVR. I watch yeah. it on DVR. Actually, I occasionally watch it on a streaming service yeah. now, where I can watch a bunch of them in a row. Um, but I do, I do watch Big Brother. Um, Are you I, still I, on that? I hate Brown. Got me hooked on that show. I did God. not watch the first year. He loved it the first year. I watched it the second year, and I watch it every year. It's like a rite of passage in summer. I know football is coming. And it's the same people, yep. same everything same every year, line. same everything. And I just turn it on I mean, as background noise. And I record it, so I don't watch it live, but but I do watch it. So let me guys. So the cast is basically, what are there, 12 of them? 16. 16. Yep. So you've you've got a couple really hot girls. Yep. You've got the girl that is a hand full to deal with. Yep. you got the gay guy. Yep. you got the closeted gay female. Yep. You've got... Bisexual is what we uh, Bisexual, today, okay. Yep. You've got... Um, you probably have a binary now. <laughs> It was coming. <laughs> you've probably got the brainiac. Uh, you got a brainiac, yep. and you've you've got surfer dude, at farmer. Least, at least somebody from each ethnicity. Yep. Right. Yep. yep. And every region of the country. Yep. Every. Yep. yep. That's yep. it. And the farmer from Tennessee is on his way out this week. <laughs> That's right. There Spoiler alert. <laughs> Boy, yeah. sounds like a handful. Uh, another sign you're old, according to millennials, describing a song as quote banging. That's a banger, man. Uh, another one that I do still writing list with pen and paper. I've got one for Sankey tomorrow. <laughs> yep. That's from Thursday. 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 Uh, yeah, write that down. Getting, <laughs> put that at the top of your page. Getting bills through the mail. I still get a couple. Well, yeah. here, here's the thing about that. I I get those as a reminder to pay them because I don't check emails. Like, I've got, oh, gosh, uh, 26,731 uh, unread emails. That's a panic attack. Know. Just get rid of it. Just so, delete all, please. Uh, yeah, I just hate to do that. So I get the bill in the mail to remind me to pay the bill. It's not yeah. that... You know, I'm getting better on auto pay. 
Yeah, that's us. We, well, we just, it's direct. It just, but any, anything that's normal is auto pay. Yep. So, but how do you, but like your power bill is different each month. And I know you can do auto pay, but what if they screw up? Oh, uh, we probably didn't notice it. You can do the, uh, what is the it average called? billing. Yeah, the average but, they, but still, if they screw your bill up or if yep. the water company screws your bill up. Yeah, I mean, there's a great chance that. We have lost a few dollars God, over the years. <laughs> scooting, man. He really was. Oh my so God. Uh, <laughs> our final sign-year-old, according Full to the millennials, charge. using cash, <laughs> which I still do a little oh, bit. Not as like much. Cash. Not as oh. much as when we started the show. Yeah. Of course, I don't have as much. <laughs> 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 Went through a divorce and <laughs> in a, new venture. In a, in a career change. change. <laughs> I, I never carried cash, and didn't. D- it didn't bother me that I never carried cash until I met you, and now I feel like I'm less of an adult if I don't at least have a 10 in my pocket. Uh, <laughs> millennials are judging us. <laughs> Big wait, money uh, guy. Well, Tip mean, your valet. Yeah, see this guy? That's a tenner. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's just it. Every time we're, we're somewhere eating and you guys want to split a tip instead of throwing it on a card, I'm like, I got a 10. Oh, oh, I, I don't have any cash. I'll just put it on my card. Or LT <laughs> carries me like I'm his child. That is uh, Trash Today. Brought to you by our friends at Mortgage Right. Hey, if you're looking to purchase, re- refinance a home, act now before those rates go on the rise. Locations nationwide from our friends at Mortgage Right. Just go online, mortgageright.com. That's the right way to do a mortgage with our friends at Mortgage Right, NMLS 2239.